Hey guys, in this series we're going to be building a recipe application using Node.js and PostgreSQL. All right, now we're using Postgres because I wanted to kind of change it up a little bit and um, you know veer away from MongoDB and some of the other uh, popular NoSQL databases that are often used with Node. And just to show you that you can use relational databases as well, so MySQL, Postgres, and all you have to do really is just use some kind of client and we're going to be using this Brian C slash node Postgres client and this has some good examples and documentation uh, that you can check out alright now this this series is actually one of tw uh, 12 project course on node.js that I have so if you enjoy this series I would definitely suggest checking that course out right now it's only 29 bucks and there's, there's 12 of these projects so uh, it's packed with information just go ahead and use the affiliate link in the description all right so let's take a look at the application you can see we're listing some recipes here if we wanted to add a recipe it's going to open up a, a modal we're using uh, bootstrap so we'll just say test recipe and just test and save and you can see it adds it now the the order I have it in right now is reverse alphabetical but that can be changed uh, and then if we want to check out the recipes, we can click on one of these arrows and that'll open up uh, kind of a little drop down and it has ingredients and the directions. And then we can also um, edit if we want. So let's go ahead and edit this one. And we'll just say test recipe edited and save. And now you can see that that's edited. Okay, if we want to delete it, simply click the delete. It's going to uh, do a confirmation and it deletes it. All right, so very simple, uh, but it you know I'll show you how to work with Node.js along with Postgres. Now this video was made a couple months ago, but I don't believe there's been any major updates where the syntax um, won't work or or anything like that. If there is, just leave a comment and I'll I'll try and help you guys out. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.